It is Christmas time. That means it is time for uh, gingerbread men, eggnog, and pretending like you care about your family so you can get some good gifts. That also means it is time to get a bunch of catalogs in the mail. At least for me, anyway. I don't know where these come from or who makes them, but every year I get like a million of these holiday mail order catalog things. Uh, these two I got myself. This one came from my mom. Country Door. Pre-approved. Isn't that exciting? No. Back in the day when I was a teenager, I got some very different ones from these. They were like some random company and they were full of like lewd gifts, lewd and rude gifts of like t-shirts with like naked women and like a farting fish or stuff like that. Just stuff that would probably get people cancelled these days, which is why you don't see them anymore, or I don't anyway. We'll start with the Vermont Country Store, purveyors of the practical and hard to find since 1946. This is the biggest one, it's like 130 something pages. Celebrate with the flavors of Christmas. Hold on. Last time I, last time I looked at those gaming magazines, I ended up moving the magazine all over the desk without realizing it. This time I have a little corner marker right here to make sure it doesn't move around too much. Christmas, more than any other time of year, is when we celebrate traditions, and so many of our favorite traditions are about food. Uh, yeah, buy some of our food stuff. Gotcha. Got some kind of hideous dress, fruitcake, a classic top that makes train sounds as it spins. So this is like some kind of spinning top thing with like a little train in it. That's $50. It's nine inches tall. That... That, that right there is $50. I never ordered anything from any of these magazines. I think you're starting to immediately see why. Uh, yeah, more women's clothes. Uh, looks like a virgin killer sweater almost. But with sides. Uh, let's see here. More women's clothes. Flannel. Ooh, there's our first mail. How exciting. Not what I remember these being. I remember this being like more like Christmas specific like knickknacks. Like uh well, like that toy we saw at the beginning. There's a pickup truck watch we can get. I don't know what I, maybe it's like a southern thing, but every time I go to like any store, there's always like a million of these exact same red pickup trucks with like a Christmas tree in the back. Or for Halloween, it's got like a pumpkin in the back. What is up with the red Christmas truck? Well, red pickup truck. Okay, here's more the kind of thing I was thinking. Like more holiday stuff, more like kids stuff. So you get like an alarm clock, uh, some kind of night light with like a fire on it. <laughs> oh, that's the, the silly stuff like that that's I'm looking for. Just the weird, goofy, silly stuff. A lot of peanut stuff in here. I mean, I guess that's not surprising. Peanut memorabilia is everywhere. Which is weird, because I don't think anyone actually likes the peanuts. Does anyone like the peanuts? Does anyone care in the slightest about the peanuts? Anybody? Some stuffed animals and bears. Stuffed Mickey and Minnie. Plush Pals. Comes with like a... Handcrafted, high stitch seams, well anchored safety eyes, and the softest, plushest fur in the land. Oh, it's something you make yourself. Okay. Because it comes with an instruction booklet and like different colors. So you can get that for $35. It's Mickey or Minnie, not both. And for just the color forms, it's $14. I'm not sure what a color form is. Well, I actually know what a color form is. Hmm. Of the Nutcracker story, I just spat again. Right, so it's like an illustrated book on the Nutcracker. Gotcha. $40 for that. My goodness. That's... I mean, it's hardcover. But still, that's... That's a lot for the Nutcracker. It's also $40 for Christmas, Carol. Ooh. Here we go. This is the garbage I was thinking of. Just utter, like, cheap tat like this that you just put in stockings. It's not cheap anymore, though, looking at these prices. My goodness. So we got, like, a little cardboard kaleidoscope for $7. That's not too bad, I suppose. But then you got wooden yo-yos for $16. You have a, a yodeling pickle for $16. My niece actually got me that as a stocking. Thank you, truck. 
Uh, my niece actually got me that for Christmas last year. I don't think she spent $16 on it, though. Uh, a, a, a telephone can, so two cans with a string, that's $13. Uh, a little pig, a piggy, a rubber piggy bank, $24. Some kind of pig-based card game for $14. That's the new Hearthstone right there. A foam glider for 15 Card games for 15 Jacks for 12 Like that little old-fashioned derby racing game is 17 Some sticks. Some literal sticks is $7. And the cat's cradle is 10 These used to be like a couple of bucks. Oh man, the world has changed, hasn't it? Ugh. Right, uh, you little, uh, what are these? Andy? Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy dolls. Are these also ones you make yourself? I think so. It's the same color form thing as uh, Mickey and Minnie. Those are $50 for the actual doll itself. The storybook is 20 Classic Raggedy Ann and the Anniversary. Okay, so the classic is 30, uh, 24 The Anniversary one is 50 uh, The classic game Racco... Never heard of that. Can we deduce what this is about on that picture? Scorecard game. You put cards in like little slots. Uh, two to four players. 60 cards. No, I cannot possibly fathom what that game is about based on that one picture. I was in Little the other day and they had harmonicas for $5. So, you know. And you didn't have to spend shipping, obviously. Uh, ooh, Christmas decorations. You can put candles in your tree, which I always thought was really weird. Why would you want to suggest that you're putting lit candles in your tree? That just seems really weird to me. The little pink tree. Holy sh**. A seven and a half foot tall pink Christmas tree for $400. That is $400 for a plastic pink tree. You can get, <laughs> you can get a toaster for $70. Honey, we need a new toaster. Do you want to go to, like, a uh, Walmart or Target? Nah, honey, we got the uh, Vermont Store catalog for $70. Let me just write this out here on this paper and mail it off, and we'll get it in, like, three weeks. Oh. What is that? Oh, it's my, uh... <laughs> it's my Bixby alert to weigh in. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm failing miserably. Anyway. Uh, good timing with, uh, these cookies. Let's see, we got some shortbreads for a tin for $30. Dutch caramel sticks for $16. Maple leaf for $20. And, uh... Ferfurnirse. Ferfurnirse. Nailed it. That's 22 I have no idea what that is. Oh, pronounced Pfeffernus. Pfeffernus? Yeah. Cake-like texture. Spiced with cinnamon, clove, allspice, coriander, cardamom, ginger, star anise, mace, nutmeg, and a touch of white pepper. That sounds good, actually. And it's got, like, some kind of, a uh, glazing on the outside that makes it hard and crunchy. Ooh, that sounds interesting, actually. Might make a recipe. Might look for a recipe and make that myself. Hmm. Anyway. Damson plum jam, whole blueberry jam... Authentic Crumpets. $20 for that pack. Ooh, I'm, I feel like I feel like this page was made for Atomic Shrimp. Because you got your damson jams, your crumpets. Always cut it with a fork, not a knife. Got a snowman-shaped bottle, bottle of maple syrup, obviously. They have a maple syrup and a wine bottle. Those Canadians take their maple syrup seriously. Cheese and sausage spread with your accompanying spoons for $20. Look at that knife, my goodness. Ooh, I bought some of these at the store recently. Uh, it was like a, I think it was World Market. It's like a, it's not quite a shortbread, it's more biscuity than that. And it's got like dried fruit in it. I did not spend $22 or $40 on it. It was like five or six bucks. It's pretty good actually, I'll have to go and look back, see if I get some more. Shortbread pastry filled with spiced mince meat. Which, uh, if you don't know, mince meat isn't actually meat. It's like, uh, it's like fruit and stuff, basically. 
twelve dollars for that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. Oh, German Domino Stein. Domini. Domino Stein. Domino Spine. Domino Stein. Domino Stein. Domino. Ah, uh, whatever. That looks good. Not. Well, maybe fifteen dollars good. I'm not sure. Let's see here, we're seeing a lot of these box-shaped tins. I'm guessing it's like all from the same manufacturer with just like a different coat of paint on it. Uh, oh, finally, more of the gummy candies. I always preferred gummy candies over chocolate. $25 for a gumdrop tree. Oh my goodness, I don't really see... Oh, there's that box again. I don't really see gumdrops much anymore. I think those went out of favor 50 years ago maybe now. Another one of those boxes. Ooh. Peppermint candy bark. I love that stuff. I've got a recipe for that. I'm gonna have to make that. See, this is why the <laughs> losing weight thing isn't working out. Uh, I, I made some gingerbread men yesterday, too. With fresh ginger. They're delicious. I've eaten, like, eight of them in, like, less than 24 hours. Anyway. Another one of those tins. My goodness, those are everywhere. More chocolates that look like alcohol for some reason. And that was the end of that one. What's back here? Some blankets, some perfumes, some of those weird looking sweets we saw earlier. Hmm, yeah. Okay, so that one was kind of disappointing, I'll be honest. Let's go on to, uh, let's go to Country Door now. Country Door, take me home. I'm not gonna show you the first page because it has my mom's name in it for some reason. This is the one she got. All right, uh, did I skip a page? Yes, I did. Uh, let's see here. Okay, more bedding. Oh, one of those super cheap, low-quality record players with like a radio and a CD player built into it. Where's that at? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Victor 7-in-1 Wood Music Center with turntable. Three-speed turntable. 33, 45, and 78. Huh, you don't really see that many 78 players anymore. CD player, cassette player, FM radio, 35 millimeter auxiliary jack input. RCA output and Bluetooth comes with built-in stereo speakers all for the low low price of $250 $250 these things always sound terrible and they look weird they I don't really like that fake faux retro kind of look it just doesn't look right to me and uh, yeah it's $250 for that I literally I was in Goodwill yesterday I saw this exact same thing $15, and it was marked down from 25 Weird-looking elf on a shelf type of things. Some super creepy-looking statues. Those are $300. My goodness. Here are those gnomes that you see everywhere for some reason. A set of three for $40. Again, I was at Little yesterday. They had these same-looking gnomes for, like, I think it was, like, $10. I love Little, by the way. Oh, oh, Little. I could do a whole video about all the crap I've bought from there over the years. Oh, oh, I just bought this at Little yesterday. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Six dollars. Look at that hat. That is a gorgeous hat. Far too small for my head, but I don't care. I'm gonna put it on now, as a matter of fact. Aren't I gorgeous? Uh, you can get some wild meat sticks for thirty-five dollars. There you go. Here, honey, I bought you some meat sticks. Some wild meat sticks. What are they? Buffalo, elk, and venison. I mean, I guess those meats are kind of expensive generally, but when you put them in Slim Jim form, I don't, I don't know about that. A musical tree. A train circles a track and lights twinkle. Yeah, but you put the, you put the train inside of the tree, and you put houses inside of the tree as well. You didn't want to put them like outside of the tree. And also, that's that must be a massive tree if those are the houses. That is just a sight to behold, my goodness. How much is that? That is $70 for that monstrosity. What is that? A three foot tall, super creepy and weird looking Santa. Is that a charger coming out of your cup? Heated travel mug. 16 ounce stainless steel cup. Plugs into your car's DC port with an 80, 48 inch adapter keeping your drink warm the whole ride for $23. So, <laughs> so, you, you plug your travel mug 
into the cigarette lighter of your car and it keeps it warm. <laughs> okay, that's... Okay, sure, why not? And I haven't even mentioned this yet. Golf pool. It's a, it's a pool table that you put on your floor and play with golf clubs. That's, that's $55, which is cheaper than this three pack of hoodies, which is $70. Uh, some terrible looking trees, my god. D, that is $100 for a set of three dead looking trees, if that's what you're into. Uh, oh, we get like a mini book inside, look at that, wow. I'll have to come back to that in a second here. Some cheap looking Bluetooth speaker, that's $35. Some trinket box ornaments. So you can put stuff in them, I guess. You can put money in, <laughs> you put money in an ornament and just put it on a tree. All right, I'll do that. Right, little child chair, $120. Again, my mom has one of these, it's white. She got it at Goodwill for like a couple of bucks, I think. $120. Uh, but some of these are on sale for 70. So, oh wait, no, that's, no, the recliners, those are $70. The the navy polka dot or brown are 70. Red, pink, blue, purple, and unicorn are 120. These are the chairs, these are $65. She, yeah, that's that white one. That's the white one she has. It was not $65. Some Christmas houses, my dad has a Christmas house collection. Uh, we've been buying more lately. But he painted like the original set of like four or five. Yeah, he goes like the whole nine yards. He's got like a, puts it on like a shelf with like some of that uh, white cotton fabric stuff. He's got like, uh, uh, what are they called? Tinsel or whatever. Uh, whatever to make it look shiny and gl glittery. Glitter, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, he's got like little people and little trees, little cars and like a little road. Yeah, it's it's really pretty. $250, who's gonna buy that? Like a giant ass four feet high popcorn maker with giant wheels on it that does nothing but make popcorn for $250. Like, honestly, who's gonna buy that? There's a stand mixer for $115, really cheap looking one. Again, little, they have this exact same mixer or one very similar to it. It's on sale for $50 right now. I don't know why this video has turned into a, a sale pitch for little, but it has. And that's just, that's just where we are right now. That's what you get with the, uh, that's the kind of compelling you content you get with Josh's junk drawer. Just random magazine videos that turn into ads for a grocery store that's only in like 10 US states or eight maybe. They closed a whole bunch recently, unfortunately. The Brantford Exchange, hmm. With your really cheap jewelry. Is there an address on here? No, okay, good. Uh, a little late for Thanksgiving. But, uh, free matching earrings with every bracelet. Pocket watch. A JFK pocket watch. $55. Back of the watch has a genuine silver JFK half dollar coin on it. Includes certificate of authenticity. Oh, I love it when they include, like, a certificate of authenticity into these cheap random pieces of crap to make it feel like they're really special. Love it. Does that bag say swag? Oh no, <laughs> SMG, I thought that said swag. Imagine walking around with a purse that said swag on it. More random junk. What is this? Burial insurance you can afford. Uh, that's interesting, from Global Life. It's a $100,000 bond for burial insurance. Monthly rates as low as $359 for adults. Children and grandchildren, $217. Easy to buy, no medical exam. What the hell? Life in... It... Imagine getting life insurance from an insert in a country door... What is this thing called? Country door magazine. Christmas country door magazine. I'm gonna buy some life insurance out of this for $3.50 a month. Oh, my name's on that one. I can get some pens. How much is that? $23 for a set of two stylish pins with my name on the cover. That was quite a ride. All right. Wow. Um, that life insurance thing was so bizarre. Oh my God. Let's go on to what might be the most interesting one. 
the Wisconsin Cheese Man. Explore Wisconsin flavor with these really cheap preserved cheeses. <clears throat> okay, I had to make another cut there because once again, as soon as I opened it, there was my address on there. You know, I should go through here now and just look real quick. If there's any more of those fun surprises waiting for me. Um, yes, yes there is, as a matter of fact. I'm glad I did that. Oh my god, is that another life insurance thing? Yes, yes it is. What the hell? But yeah, okay, we got that taken care of. I covered the addresses on the back already, of course, but still. Gifts from the heart of cheese country. Since 1946, families have trusted the Wisconsin Cheese Band to deliver fine cheeses to everyone on their list. But cheese is just the beginning. At the Wisconsin Cheese Band, we combine our world-class cheese with locally made sausages and sweet treats from our own bakery. Our dedication to quality has made us one of America's leading food gift companies. And our credit plan offers low monthly payments. <laughs> why does a cheese company, why does a cheese gift company have a credit plan? Right, what do we have here? Holiday, Holly breakfast basket. Uh, nothing says delicious Christmas morning breakfast with family. You've got animin, animin? Where did I get animin from? Apple cinnamon pancake mix, maple syrup, lemon bread, honey cream, maple ham summer sausage, maple ham links, Colombian coffee, and crispy Santa chocolate discs. Uh, that, that coffee's probably pretty terrible, I'm guessing. Some just generic cheeses. These are just like super generic cheeses that you can get at the grocery store for like less than five dollars. I don't know why anyone would spend 30, 40, 50 bucks on this crap. The Big Show, seventy dollars for some generic cheese and summer sausages. I can go to the grocery store and buy all of that for probably 20 bucks. They only have like three different cheeses and three different sausages. These are all the exact same thing but like in different packages. Oh, there's something different, thank God. Grape jelly and sweet and hot mustard. We can get some bricks. Some Wisconsin Cheese Van brick. Mmm, delicious. Here, honey, I got you a brick of cheese. Oh, thank you. I got you a divorce. Wow, they really do only have like the same thing over and over again, don't they? Um, yeah, some mustard. It's like, the, it is literally the same thing over and over again, but like, different packages. Okay, here's something different, thank God. We got Steve Settler here, master cheese maker. Drive out into the gently rolling hills of south central Wisconsin and you'll see the bright silos of Decatur Dairy jutting up amidst the lush green farmland. Running over this 80 year old facility is master cheese maker Steve Stettler. St Stettler. Stettler. Since taking over operations 40 years ago, Steve has created many new signature cheeses and won countless awards of excellence in US and world cheese contests. In 2016, Steve was honored with the Wisconsin Cheesemakers Association Life Member Award. Oh, isn't that riveting stuff? And here's Larry Harris, another award-winning master cheesemaker. Four generations of the Meister family have owned Meister cheese for more than a century. That is how four generations works, yes. Nestled in the heart of Wisconsin's lush, driftless region, the little town of Muscoto, Muscoda is known for moral mushroom, morel mushrooms and nutrient-rich soil to produce top-quality milk. Does nutrient-rich soil produce top-quality milk? I mean, I guess in a roundabout way it does, because it grows grass that the cows eat. I, okay, sure. You can get some farmer's cheese, similar to Havarti but typically lower in fat. That's from Stettler. Uh, Red Rhine Munster, Half Moon Colby. It's just a half a wheel of cheese. You get a full wheel of Colby Jack. Oh wait, now these can't be full wheels because these are too, too cheap. Uh, one pound, three ounces for 20. I guess it is a full wheel. These are awfully cheap for cheese. Like typically like good quality cheese will be like Damn near close to a hundred dollars. Like I was in, uh, I was in Little the other day. No, Little does not have hundred dollar cheese. I was in, uh, what's that place called? Lowe's Food. It's like a local, local super upscale grocery store a while ago. And they have like a big cheese section where you can buy full wheels of cheese. They're easily like 70, 80, 90 dollars for like the good quality stuff. So 
I, I wouldn't be too confident about spending $20 on a full wheel of cheese and getting something good. Eight spreads for $52, my goodness. $52 for eight spreads, how much is this? Uh, four, six, or eight ounces. Oh, those wild meat sticks again. We have full versions of wild meat, elk, buffalo, and venison. Probably so heavily processed and spiced you can't even tell what they are anymore. Huki sausage, German-style smoked sausage with traditional seasonings, is bound in a unique net casting that gives it a flower shape when sliced. Twenty dollars. Is that actually a thing, or is that like an Americanized sort of deal? I'm not sure. Looks interesting though, I'll give it that. Uh, Land Jaeger. Classic Swiss sausages have been enjoyed by generations of outdoorsmen. Ours is made from Wisconsin's legendary uh, Nuisks. New, new uh, from super lean cuts of pork and beef perfectly seasoned with cracked pepper and slow smoked over glowing embers of sweet apple wood I mean I guess some of these look okay but these prices are just it's a theme for these magazines just normal basic stuff none of this is like particularly high quality that they just slap a gigantic price tag on because it's holidays and they know they can get away with it like come on $40 for a fruitcake really $40 for a fruitcake, $35 for some baklava, mini baklava at that. Chocolate frogs! Oh, look at those chocolate frogs. How much are you willing to bet that they don't actually look anything like that? They're probably like super deformed and half belted. California mix. Pineapple, banana chips, apricots, raisins, ugh, cranberries and dates. Oh, I love me some dates. I also made a chestnut date loaf last week. Again, still can't figure out why I'm not losing weight. Oh, here's that credit thing. I thought this was like life insurance or something at first, but I think this is their credit thing. So annual APR for purchase, 5.75 to 25.9%. Imagine taking out like a loan from a cheese company in Wisconsin for some really cheap cheeses. Anyway, that's the end of that one. Uh, yeah. Get the rest of them over here. Excuse you. Yeah, that was these uh, Christmas magazines. These are not as interesting as they used to be. Like these two in particular, or similar ones to these two, used to have like all kinds of like weird gadgets and toys and like shirts and other weird stuff that you can buy. A lot of it was like super risque and stuff. Uh, not anymore, apparently. Now it's just full of, full of bedding and women's clothes and overpriced garbage that you could buy elsewhere for like a fraction of the price. Yeah, eh, not as interesting as they used to be, but I guess there's still some interest in some of these, mostly for how bad they are. But uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, you might get some more Christmas. Oh, <laughs> that light just died. Good timing. You couldn't wait one more minute? Okay, sure. Anyway, you might get more Christmas content out of me. You might not. Who knows? We'll see. See you next time.